the pain of a bad haircut. All right, all done, man. Oh, can I see what it looks like? Sure, man, of course. Man, man what the f is this? Well, what do you think? Do you like it? Do I like it? Nigga, look at the side of my goddamn head. What's wrong? I gave you exactly what you asked for. Bro, I said I wanted the nice temp fade, not the vector special. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, chat. One time I went to the barber. I know that's a surprise for a lot of y'all niggas because I got a beanie. The nigga gave me the soldier boy lineup. Hey, but that wasn't the point. Nigga, when I told y'all niggas, this man fucked the shit out of this side of my hair. Basically, y'all know when you get the lineup, it's like a box, right? It's like a box. This nigga made this one, like, you know, like, he, he, he basically, he angled it bad so that this shit was, like, cut even more long, like, it was pushed back on the side. Nigga, my, nigga, my lineup was worse than Max, nigga, you know? And you know that nigga Max has a horrible line. No, no, he has a good lineup. I was just playing. But <laughs> when I went to school, when I went to school, I had to, I had to go like this. I'm not even joking to y'all niggas. I had to, I had to go like this the whole time. Nigga, every time some shit was going on, my ass had to go like this. And then the teacher was like, yo, Sala, like, well, why are you standing like this? Can, can, can I see your face? Went like this. Everyone looked at me. It was like, nigga, yo, shit, fucked up. Yo, bro, I don't think y'all understand. Haircuts are more than haircuts. They're confidence boosters. They are what decides if you get bullied or not. They're what decides if you get hoes or not. It's so important. Oh, my bad, bro. My bad? Man, f*** that. Run me my ones, n***a. Barbers, a.k.a. the people who single-handedly have the power to make you look the sexiest man on earth for two weeks or make you look like this, n***a. As we all know, the powers that barbers hold is equivalent to that of Thanos himself. And of course, any mortal man with this much power cannot be trusted. Now, we all know that feeling. The feeling of coming to the barbershop with the hopes of leaving a new, fresher, and crispier man than before. Hoping that once you step out that barbershop, that the females will have no choice but to bow in your presence from your glorious hairline. That when you step out that barbershop, even the gods themselves will quake at the sight of your magnificent fade. Chat, y'all know when people go to the barbers, like, they should be happy about going to barbers. Like, yes, I'm about to go, I'm about to go get a cut. I was, all, I, I was always scared about getting a haircut. To me, it was just more like, do not mess my shit up, as opposed to make me look good. And I feel like it shouldn't be like that, especially if I'm paying more than $20, bruh. But for many of us men out there, these hopes are merely nothing but a dream. I can't tell you how many times I've walked into the barbershop with the highest hopes for how my haircut was gonna look, only to leave looking like I was getting ready for military boot camp, with 10 times less self-esteem than I already had when I walked in. The embarrassment of having a bad haircut is already bad, but it only gets worse when you're forced to share that embarrassment to the world. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some of my own traumatic haircut stories along with the overall struggle of having yo to all the men in here i know y'all probably showed a goddamn barber uh, a, a google image of a nice haircut thinking your shit gonna get gonna get haircut like you you want like you a gta character knowing damn well it don't work like that the nigga will take a one look at that and he'll just be like oh so you want to fade bitch i said i want this haircut and then, <laughs> niggas will over generalize i if i said i want to look like this then make me then make me look like this Give you a random ass cut talking about all right. There's that having a bad haircut number one the terrible barber So if you've ever been to a barber shop, you know that usually there are several different barbers working at one time You got the guy in the front aka the main barber the middle barbers and the back barbers We don't talk about the back barbers. Just know they're in the back for a reason now when you walk in You're challenged with making the single-handed most important decision for the next two weeks Who is going to be the chosen warrior to lay their majestic clippers on your head now? Naturally, I just went with the guy who had an open chair and looked free, which is where I already went wrong Oh, hell no, nigga. I'm sorry. If you're not my specific barber or if I feel like you look like a new person, bitch, I am Helen Keller. I cannot see or hear nothing. Because every man knows if a barber has no clients, he has no clients for a reason. But I really didn't feel like waiting behind two or three people just to get a cut. So anyway, I sat down, told the guy what I wanted, and he'd get to cutting. I almost vividly remember the sound and the feeling of the razor as he began cutting my hair. If only I knew how much PTSD these two things would put on my innocent soul. Fast forward 15 minutes, the barber told me he had finished and handed me a mirror to look at. It was at this very moment when I realized I had made a very critical mistake in my calculations. And that I had in fact not just chosen the wrong barber, but probably the worst barber. And now I had to live with those consequences. Long story short, because of what this man did to me, I had become almost completely unrecognizable. My hairline ruined, fade non-existent, my hair gone. The most- What is the worst feeling of getting a haircut? Is it the barber messing up like the length of your haircut or the lineup? 
I feel like the most important thing is the lineup. Because worst case scenario, yo shit get messed up like, in terms of length. Yo ass at least got a lineup. And nigga, I am East. I am. Nigga, I am East African. My lineup already fucked. Nigga, my shit look like KSI. You know? I look like Gideon, basically. So if you mess up my lineup, nigga, I'm done. I'm most embarrassing part was when this knowing the war crimes he committed on the top of my noggin would then proceed to tell me <coughs> so that will be fifteen dollars ah okay here you go have a nice day <laughs> you too <laughs> you too number two i'm not gonna lie but yo i know i'm yapping a lot but if a barber messes your haircut the least they could they they could do is give you a discount showing up to school now we all know there's no worse place on earth to be with the up haircut than the eight hour juvenile prison we call school going to school with a messed up haircut is the equivalent to pulling up to school in a clown uniform you're guaranteed to get roasted beyond comprehension and straight up bullied the second you walk through those doors motherfuckers finna get to cooking you without hesitation i remember a time back when i was little i went to this one barber who just did me absolutely foul i don't know if my dad owed him money or if he found out his wife cheated on him or what but it was clear that this dude had nothing but murder on his mind and i was the unlucky soul who dare set foot in his barbershop that day let's just say once i saw what the cut looked like i had tears running down my eyes and of course even though i had this mr crocker looking ass cut my parents still forced me to go to school the very next day so i had no other choice but to suck it up and get in the worst part about getting a haircut and i know a lot of y'all could relate to this when you go when you get in class and your ass want to cover it with a hoodie that no no don't ever do that because you are literally setting yourself up for everyone to look at your ass because the teacher 10 times out of 10 gonna tell your ass to take off the hoodie and once they ask you that, that's when everyone wants to look at you. You like the main character at that point. You know, it's like you're performing a damn near, it's basically like you're performing a concert. So if your ass wear a hoodie, you're just putting more attention to yourself. So, or at, yeah, just at, at that point, bro, just go to school with, with, with no hoodie, bro. You're going you to survive ready for a full day of embarrassment i'm not making this shit up when i say the minute i stepped into my class half the class started giggling even my own homies my own brothers was on my head just straight up violating me my cut was so bad that the teacher had to take me out the class and asked is everything okay at home like how is my cut that atrocious that even now my teacher thinks something is wrong but that's not the only reason why having a bad haircut is a fate worse than death itself because at my school we had this thing called getting necked or the cheese neck as it's more commonly known as which is basically when you go up to someone with really short hair or just a bad haircut in general and smack the shit out of their neck now as you could probably imagine this only made life harder for anyone who had a bad cut as you literally had to walk around the halls with your head on a constant swivel with the fear that you were going to get sneak attacked at any given moment I i'm gonna tell y'all one reason why you should never clown someone that's bald i remember in high school bro there was a girl, God bless her soul. Niggas was like, yo, bro, why she bald? Ever since then, I was like, nigga, you should never clown someone's hair. Y'all could assume why she was bald. It's messed up. Yes, nigga, that's what she was suffering from. I've seen dudes minding their own business just- Unless it's Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith, G.I. J3, bitch. You know what? Okay. Trying to get to their next class. When out of nowhere, bam, they get hit with the Will Smith smack straight to the back of the neck. It's not even fair either because these dudes never saw it coming. And you want to talk about an unfair fight. Number three, trying to get- now as if it already wasn't impossible for a n like me to get wait to all the girls in here just so we have an idea so the men have an idea how important is a haircut in terms of like your the overall man from zero to ten like how important is a good haircut I look like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. I have absolutely zero riz and I have the same type of drip as a GTA NPC. Now add on having a pushback hairline and you might as well call it wraps from my dating life. I'm finished. There's only two ways me trying Damn, is that important? Trying to get girls with a f***ed up haircut can go. Either they just straight up laugh in my face, or they awkwardly try to make an excuse to leave the conversation. I remember one time in middle school, I had to go to a different barber from my usual one because he wasn't in town at the time. Looking back, I wish I would've just kept my nappy ass hair instead. But anyway, I ended up getting cut by this random Jamaican dude who ended up not only pushing my hairline back about 2.8 miles, but also gave me the wrong cut i asked this man for a basic lineup you and he see? gave me the prime cavalier lebron cut had you look <laughs> you see you should never ask a barber for a, a picture on on that you found on the internet it'll never work they're gonna have you looking like trey young like the light-skinned version of caillou needless to say when i tried to perform my unspoken riz on my school crush she proceeded to sneak a pic of my cut and post it all over snapchat i became the laughing stock of not only all the baddies but everyone in that school as you could probably guess my terrible ability to get women became even worse to this day i still want my ones with that barber number four trying to no i'm not gonna lie yes my haircut my haircuts were always trash but even 
but no one ever took a picture of me and say, yo, what the hell? They might they might have, not gonna lie, but the fact that you knew that, bro, that's nigga, that's traumatizing. I hide your cut. Now we all know the various techniques of trying to hide a bad haircut. You got the hats, the do-rags, just wearing a straight up hoodie. I've even seen some people rock a full on shiesty just to hide their hair. The insane lengths and measures you had to take just so people didn't see your atrocious haircut was absurd. But there's one problem with all these methods and that's that schools don't allow you to wear any of them. Maybe at some schools it's different, but I remember at my school, if you got caught with the hoodie on, they treated it as a federal offense. You'd be lucky if you didn't get suspended for the next two weeks. That's how serious they used to treat that rule. I swear if they caught you wearing anything on top of your head, they treated you like a threat to national security. Because and that's what I hear about school, bro. I, I don't think teachers understand, bro. If, if y'all allowed students to wear hoodies and hats, I guarantee you, you, you increasing their confidence and they're going to pay attention. Hoodies and hats does not result into being a bad person, bruh. And that's why, to all the people who are like hate that rule, trust me, in college it gets better. They don't care what you wear. You, you know why I can wear a shiesty in class? They do not care, bruh. You know? So just, just hang in there with your bald ass. You're going to be all right, all right? Because of this issue, I've tried going above and beyond in order to hide my terrible haircut. I'm talking activating my Jimmy Neutron brain in order to cook up a believable way to hide my haircut. From drawing my own hair, to putting on a fake wig, to even cutting my hair myself. Okay, okay, no, no, putting on a wig, dog, you're doing too much, respectfully speaking. I was attempting to pull out all the sacred and hidden techniques of trying to cover up my abomination of a cut, which as I think you can all imagine ended up going terribly wrong. I probably would have sold my left testicle just to hide this monstrosity of a cut. All in all, no matter how hard I tried to cover up my Charlie Brown looking at Ted, I was never able to find a solution. Overall, a bad haircut is one of the most traumatic events a man can go through in his life. From getting bullied at school to causing his risk level to drop down to a negative one, a bad haircut can completely alter someone's life. It's for this exact reason why I'm starting a petition to hold barbers accountable for their own actions from here on out barbers who commit atrocities like this should be sentenced to at least 15 years in the state pen without parole my f i'm not gonna lie that's not even far-fetched i also agree one thing what else one other thing i was gonna say chat i'm not gonna lie i also drew my lineup i know no no i didn't draw but i definitely altered it yeah 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 y'all know those those spray on shits that's all i'm gonna say you know I don't blame bro, you know bro, anything for the perfect lineup, I'm telling you bro. Fellow Americans, I've had enough. These sinister villains can't keep getting away with doing this to my hairline. They just can't. For every like this video gets, that's one less terrible barber out there on the streets. If you want to support the fight against dog barbers, go to www.lockisup.com and together we can start holding these disgraceful barbers accountable for their abominable actions. But anyway, I think we're going to end off today's video right there. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like. If you are that was a great video, I'm not gonna lie. Moral of the story, yo barbers, our life is in your hand. So please do not do us dirty. If you're watching me too, make sure you guys subscribe, join us on Discord, catch the streams on Twitch. We're live every day in the description. Why except for life? Love y'all. And peace.